Welcome back. Today I'm on my view 7 and I'm going to be looking at the timeline option. Now this is a quick video tutorial just giving you the basics to get you up and running. So let's get started. But if you need a bit of inspiration, see at the bottom here, come to the templates. So for example, I'm going to go to education, history. Let's get started with some timelines. Let's have a look at explorers. Select it, open it up and there we go. So this sort of thing we can actually create by doing your linear timeline to the left to having it in a visual timeline to your right which you can actually print out as well which is really cool so we'll do is close that and go back to file so there's two ways we can start your timeline we can start as a mind map diagram or we can go straight into timelines so i'm going to show you both ways i like to start with a mind map so you can visually plan your timeline first and then you can export it then you can convert it to a timeline which is really cool so let's just say you want to do, say you want to do your lecture schedule. And left click off that. Now if you've seen my other previous video tutorials, all you do to create another little symbol is double tap the corner here. Or select branch and sub branch or use the shortcut keys, which is the enter key or the insert key to create a sub branch. So I'm just going to double left click the corner to create our first branch and click into there. So I'm just going to call this Monday. Let's do a few days. So double tap the middle one again. Let's call this Tuesday and so on. So I just do three days to Wednesday. Now what I want to do with this, I want to add some images as well, just to show you how, that, how you can then interact with your timeline. I'm going to use the built-in ones, pictures to the right here, select pictures. And I'm going to type in there, time and i'm just going to scroll down see what they've got there i'm just going to drag this time option here piece and just drag it into the middle so you can I drag it as an attachment or if i just drag it in the middle i'm going to close that if you want external images you can go to google images and copy and paste them into your map as well so i'm going to go to monday so i need to create a sub branch off of that by clicking the shortcut key insert or double tap in the corner so say it's Monday and your first lecture is double tap in the afternoon and let's put that down as ancient Greece. I'm just throwing stuff in here. Now if you get a spelling error, right click, correction, and you can change that quickly. Tap off that. So there we go, we've got Monday. So you've got your first lecture in the morning and your second lecture in the afternoon. Go to Tuesday and again you can add your lectures there as well. I'm going to tap off of that because I've added some options here. Now I might want to add an image to my ancient Greece. I'll come to pictures and if I type in Greece it should give me some images. Here we go, and it will scroll down and then you can choose what you want. So I'm going to grab Alexander the Great and drag him on there. Also early man, see what we get for early man. I'm going a little bit back here prehistoric. Nothing, but I want to show you this because if you go to Google, select images, and let's type in, and let's see what we get. I use any image here. That would do. So I'm going to right-click it and left-click copy image. Open up my mind view, and I'm going to right-click on early man and just paste that there. And there we go. So we've built up a visual map, and we've added images. But again, we're doing a timeline. So what we need to do is close the pictures option, select task and timeline here. And we don't want project management. We want them to concentrate on timeline, select timeline. Now it's going to let you know it's going to turn into a timeline map. So click OK. So any existing date you might have added for another timeline or maybe project management will be lost. So bear that in mind. Now we're good to go. Now you need to choose document timescale. Now I could choose if I was actually doing this, if I was actually doing this timeline or historic timeline and they weren't actually lectures, then I could use the historic option. But as I'm doing this as a standard timeline for your lectures in modern days, I'm going to leave that on standard. We've got Monday, first lecture, come to the right here and select start time. So let's put November 24th and then add your time. So say your lectures at, say, 10 o'clock, just type 10 in there minutes zero and click OK that's your first timeline now you can click back down here and add your second timeline but save time click cancel highlight it 
Control C, click down, Control V, and just tie, and then just change the time there. So I'm doing 12, and click Enter. So there, I've created a timeline for my first lecture, Early Man, 24th of November, starting at 10 a.m., finishing at 12. But problem, if I close this window, we still can't see in any way we see a timeline there. You officially need to be able to see the times and dates so you can add your next time and dates for the next option. So what I'm going to do is come up the top here and select view. And I want you to select the option that says show hide. Click on it and then tick start end time and click OK. That now shows the start and end time. So now I'm going to click on ancient Greece. Open up the timeline again. And again, I can add information here. Now, I'm just going to control V because I'm carrying on on the same day. That's fine. But I'm going to change the time this time. So I want to let's just start at 1300. Click the enter key. Again, control V to the next option end. And I'm going to have that finish at 1500. And click enter. And there you go. You start to build up a schedule. Now, if I select advanced, you can choose what you want to see in a definition of times or not, or end time months. You can select what you want there. But what I'm going to do quick is also change the colour. So I'm going to select early man. When you click on the option here, go right to the top, select format. And I'm going to change that colour. Let's do a more of a pastel colour. There we go. Now that's all and good, but we still haven't got a timeline. Create a timeline. Come to the top and select view. And to the left, you've got your options here. Now I'm going to select timeline. It's now converted that into a timeline. Now on the left here, you've got a linear format that we can add information in. And on the right, you can actually see your timeline as you build it. And I'll show you how you can start adding times in here as well. But if you don't like the look of that, usually come to the top and select design. And then choose a different design. So I'm going to click on there for you. I'm going to click on this option as well. That looks pretty good. And you see where I've added the colour here and the timeline underneath to separate it. So it's a really good option to use when you are creating timelines. Again, you can change the colours here if you wish, if you want something specific. I'm going to leave it on that actually. Now, you've got an option that says show duration bar. If I click on it, it gets rid of duration bar of the actual time. Click back on it and it gives you more detail of the actual time in there. So if you're looking at a big timeline map, you might want to break that down to have a quick look at that. And your duration bars you can do page color you can change the background color if you want so let's make that a, a darker color if we want select that oh actually i don't like that color i'm going to come back out of there and just leave it on default white you can have a page pattern in the background you can have title position if you don't want it at the top you might decide actually i want that on the side so you put it there as well the choice is yours also you can compress what you're looking at if it's a big timeline or expand it so there you can see the minutes better as well for example we had Tuesday as well didn't we so how do we add a time for your lectures on Tuesday now I'm going to hold the left button drag this out a bit so we can see your timeline outline better and drag this along so we can carry on seeing the map as we work on it so at the top we had Monday didn't we and we've got our subtitles under and we've got our subcategories which was your first lecture early man and your second lecture ancient Greece and we have the dates on the right now, if you change the dates in there, you could just double tap in there, select the calendar and change them there if you wish. Or you can just change them manually by typing them in as I showed you earlier. I want to add a lecture for Tuesday. So now if you remember, I created a branch off Tuesday. Now if you start getting confused, it's not a problem. Go to view and select map view and you can go back to your map view to have a quick look. Remember I added this branch here as well, but I added nothing in there. So I'm going to add something in there now, and then we're going to add it in the new timeline view. So I'll put Rome in there. Now let's turn that back into a timeline, top left hand corner. Select timeline, and you can see it's added Rome. But I want to add another one, so that's my morning lecture, which I'm going to add a time in a minute. So do a right click on Tuesday, insert, and we're going to add another second sub branch. So this is your afternoon lecture, so we're going to call this Turkish Empire. And there you go. Now, if I quickly show you again, if I go to view, map view, you can see how I've added it there. So you can work in both formats if you want. But let's go back to timeline. 
So now how do I add the time and dates? You know to the right. So if I click into this option. Now I want to carry on on the 24th. So I could double tap and then add the calendar there. But that takes a while. So I'm going to come out of there. I'm just going to copy what I had here earlier. So copy that. Control C and Control V. Double tap in there and Control V. And then I can change the time. So I'm going to make that 1400. And what's the end time? Again, I can control V and paste. I can make the end time 1600. And enter. And you can see if I scroll just a little bit to the right there, you can see where I've added my next timeline here with Rome and underneath. Now again, that all kind of blends in together, doesn't it? So as we clicked in Rome, come to the top and select format. And I'm going to change the fill colour. So I'm going to make that separate from the same colour as ancient Greece because it gets a bit confusing. So I'm going to make that more of a green colour. And then you can see how that stands out on my timeline. So you can see how easy it is to create timelines in both formats. Also, while you're in this window, formatting option, you can change the branch shapes. So see Rome as I hover over. I can choose what shape I want there. Make that more of an oval shape. And you can even change your fonts and the colour of your text if you need to. So where I've got Rome green, I'm going to change my font colour to white so you can see that clearly. And there you go, you've created a timeline in no time at all. If you want to print that out, go to File and select Print. That's A4 paper standard. That's not going to look great is if you print that out. So to the left here, they're giving you options. So if I select Column, Column and column again. Now I've added four bits of A4 paper. I can select zoom out and zoom in if you want. If you want, you can even add a row as well. But I don't need a row in this case, but what you could do is then when you print this out and you put them together, then you can add additional information and notes by writing on there as well. So I say you could use that for lecture schedule. You could use that for historic timelines. You could use that for research you need to do. But I want to come out there quickly you're not just limited to what you see there. If I actually click on early man, come to the top, you can even change the branch picture, add attachments, or even add your own audio notes, or even have website links if you want to this, so you can access quickly. There's a quick overview of using timelines within MindView. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.